Hello everyone, this is Stefan from Lush and Salty Aquariums. How are we doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day and your new year is going well or certainly better than the last hideous year. Anyway, sometimes you can have too much of a good thing. This bonsai tree with Monte Carlo uh, as surrogate for the leaves on the tree is doing so darn well, it's basically overtaking the tank. It's a big, huge puffball of Monte Carlo. Look at that, you can't even see the branches anymore. If you can recall, I put in a, a fabricated bonsai tree made from driftwood that I got uh, off Flip Aquatics. They sell them online, and that's a great uh, place to get stuff for your aquariums, including livestock. Anyway, I had bought this a long time before I used it, and finally I elected to use it. I took the Monte Carlo that was growing in this tank, which you can't really see, but it's not the focus of this video. So I took pieces of that and just stuck them into the driftwood, and then I used my uh, pretty generic Nanolite. It's an LED, it's nothing special, under 50 bucks maybe well under. I am running CO2 from the Fluval kit uh, and a hang on back filter. And this is based, This is a five gallon tank from Petco. It even has the kind of bogus plastic trim that uh, higher end Aquarists tend to want to get rid of or buy tanks that don't even have it in the first place. So this is your $20 tank from Petco and the bonsai tree is doing super well. It's doing incredibly well. Now in this tank, if you can remember from previous videos, and by the way, I have several videos from when I just set this up so you can see the difference. Just scroll back on, on the uh, video feed on my channel and you can see how far this has progressed. So in here I have cherry shrimp and pygmy quarries. You see uh, some of both down there and they're doing super well. Uh, this is a great setup for both of these uh, creatures, the Neocaridina shrimp and Pygmy Corridora. Uh, I'm using fluval substrate, doesn't hurt the barbels on those little catfish. And uh, there's some snails in here and I don't want an infestation, but when I put this Monte Carlo in, it was inevitable. I'm also trying hair grass and it looks to be doing pretty darn well in this little corner, but given how much shade this tree is starting to create, um, this could become a problem. And in the back, I have uh, small crypts and Anubius Petite that sort of form the hockey stick and also give uh, some more uh, plants to do what they do in an aquarium. And they're all doing super duper good. Uh, and you saw the setup. I also have a bit of frog bitten duckweed I just took some of that stuff out, but look at how good those root stock are and how lovely it is. Now, I'm not sure what the effect is, the illusion with a tree, are these like uh, floating plants, but it's all good, it's an aquascape. And finally, I can't believe I forgot, I got a small group of Phoenix Rasbora. They're one of the smallest nano fish you can get, sort of a cousin to the chili Rasbora, not as popular. Maybe not as pretty, I don't know. Um, they're doing super well. I think I have 12 in here. But uh, this tree is overtaking everything. So it's, it's a high class problem. I can go in there and start, and I will, start pulling tendril after, after tendril. You see how it's growing down and, and forming horizontal growth. Now initially that's a sweet effect, but obviously it's gonna turn into a big ball of green, which might be an interesting concept, but it's not what I intended for this tank. It'll be relatively easy to trim, but not as easy as I would have thought in the first place. I have little scissors, uh, kind of especially made for Aquarius, and I'll get in there and give this a trim like I do my, my beard. Uh, delicately, it'll take some time, and I'll just trim, 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 trim all the way around, and then when the pieces float up to the top, I'll net them and pull it out. Uh, but this might be a, uh, that might be a futile gesture because this plant is growing incredibly well. 
again, it's a high class problem. It's still a beautiful tank. It's just more robust than I ever imagined. And in a relatively short period of time, less than two months, I've gotten this effect, maybe even only six weeks. I'm excited about the hair grass too, because I've never had great luck with that, but that uh, colony there looks perfect. And really I have no complaints about this tank except for it's doing too well. What do you think? Hit me up. Uh, questions, tips, concerns, comments. I love all of it. I'm at your service. Stefan at Lush and Salty Aquariums wishing you a great day. And as always, keep your hands in the tank. Ciao for now.